Did you know that cats have more bones in their bodies than humans? Yes, that's right. Our feline friends are a marvel of biological engineering. With a whopping 246 bones compared to our mere 206, cats possess an extraordinary level of flexibility and agility. This skeletal advantage allows them to perform gravity-defying leaps and twist into those seemingly impossible positions. But there's more to cats than their impressive skeletal structure. Let's dive into the world of cats and discover what they truly dislike. Number one on our list of things cats hate, change. Yes, you heard it right. Our feline friends are creatures of habit, much like many of us. Cats thrive on familiarity. Their territory, their routine, their people, they love it all to remain constant. Imagine this, you've created a cozy world just the way you like it, and then suddenly something shifts. This is exactly how cats feel when their environment or routine changes. It can cause them considerable stress, and we all know stress isn't good for anyone, including our furry buddies. Shifting homes, introducing new pets, even changing their food can disrupt their comfortable world. Cats like to be in control and changes strip them of that control. This can lead to behavioral issues or even health problems. So remember, keep changes to a minimum to keep your cat happy. A happy cat means a happy home, and we all want that, don't we? Second on our list, forced affection. Cats, with their regal independence, are not the biggest fans of forced affection. Unlike their canine counterparts, cats prefer to be the ones to initiate contact. They enjoy their autonomy and don't take kindly to being scooped up for a cuddle without their consent. Imagine being in the middle of a crucial task and someone suddenly decides you need a hug. Annoying, right? That's exactly how cats feel. They might be in the middle of a grooming session, a hunting spree or a nap, and being pulled away from these activities can make them uncomfortable. Cats express their affection in their own time and in their own way. They're unique creatures after all. So, if you want to develop a bond with your feline friend, let them come to you when they're ready. It's all about patience and understanding. Always respect your cat's personal space. Third on our list, loud noises. You may ask, why? Well, it's all down to their incredibly sensitive hearing. Cat's ears are like super-powered radar dishes, picking up sounds that are well beyond our human hearing range. This heightened sense makes them excellent hunters but it also means they're more susceptible to the distress caused by loud sounds. Imagine being in a room where every sound is amplified. The ticking of a clock sounds like a hammer on an anvil. The hum of a refrigerator feels like a roaring engine. That's what it's like for our feline friends. Loud music, the bang of a dropped pan, even the sound of your favorite action movie can cause them stress. So the next time you're about to crank up the volume for that epic movie night or jamming session, remember your cat. Consider turning the volume down a notch. You'll be doing a big favor for your little furball's sensitive ears. Fourth on our list, certain smells. Now we all know cats have a keen sense of smell, far superior to ours, but did you know there are certain scents that our feline friends find downright offensive? Top of the list is the zesty aroma of citrus. Whether it's lemon, lime, or orange, cats detest it. Next up, we've got vinegar. While it may be a go-to for many of us when it comes to cleaning, your cat would likely disagree. The same goes for many of our household cleaning products. Cats can find these strong chemical scents overwhelming and unpleasant. So what's the takeaway here? It's simple. If you want to keep your kitty comfortable, be mindful of the products you use around the house. Try to opt for feline-friendly alternatives when possible. After all, a happy cat means a happy home. Keep this in mind when choosing your home cleaning products. Fifth on our list, water. Now, we all know the old saying, like a cat to water, and it's not without reason. Cats are notorious for their disdain of the wet stuff. You see, cats are self-groomers. They have evolved to keep themselves clean without the need for a splash in a tub. Bathing for a cat is a strange and stressful experience. It's not just about getting wet. It's the sensation of water on their fur, the temperature change, and the sound that can be quite unsettling to our feline friends. While some cats may tolerate or even enjoy a dip, for most, it's a resounding no thank you. If your cat ends up in a messy situation, a gentle wipe down with a damp cloth is often enough. Remember, their grooming habits are enough to keep them clean and shiny. So unless absolutely necessary, avoid giving your cat a bath. Sixth on our list, being ignored. Now, 
Despite their reputation for independence, cats are social creatures. They crave attention just as much as any other pet. When cats are ignored, they may feel neglected or even stressed. They may try to attract your attention in a variety of ways, like knocking things off shelves or scratching furniture. And let's face it, no one wants to come home to that kind of chaos. Ignoring your cat can potentially lead to behavioral problems. It's not about spoiling them with constant attention, but rather understanding their need for social interaction. Spend quality time with your cat daily. Play with them, stroke their fur, or simply sit with them. These actions can go a long way in letting your feline friend know they are loved and cherished. Remember, a happy cat makes for a happy home. So, give your cat the attention it deserves. Seventh on our list, punishment. Cats are independent creatures and unlike dogs, they don't understand the concept of punishment. In fact, punishing your feline friend is more likely to cause fear and distress rather than teach them a lesson. When you scold or physically punish your cat, they associate the negative experience with you, not their behavior. This can damage your relationship and trust with your cat, leading to more behavioral issues or even aggression. It's a vicious cycle and it's one you want to avoid. Instead of punishment, focus on reinforcing good behaviors. Cats respond well to positive reinforcement like treats, praise, or playtime. If they do something you don't like, try distracting them with a toy or a game instead of getting angry. Remember, patience is key when dealing with cats. They have their own unique personalities and quirks, and it's our job to understand and respect them. Always use positive reinforcement with your cat. Eighth on our list, close doors. Now we've all been there, right? We close a door and suddenly our feline friend is pawing at it, meowing, basically throwing a one-cat protest until that door swings open again. But why is that? Well, it's all about territory. Cats are territorial creatures, and they see your home as their kingdom. Every room, every nook and cranny is part of their dominion. When a door is closed, it's like an invisible wall has been erected in their kingdom, and they don't like that one bit. They want to patrol their territory, to check that everything is as it should be. A closed door prevents them from doing this. It's a barrier to their routine, their security, their peace of mind. So the next time you're tempted to close that door, think about your feline friend. They'll appreciate the gesture, and you'll avoid a one-cat protest. So keep your doors open whenever possible. Ninth on our list, car rides. Now we all love a good road trip, right? But for our feline friends, it's a different story altogether. Imagine being whisked away from your familiar, comfortable surroundings and thrust into a moving metal box. The sights, sounds, and sensations are all different, and it can be quite disconcerting. This is often the reality for cats during car rides. The motion of the vehicle, the unfamiliar environment, and the noise can all contribute to making car rides a stressful experience for cats. Some cats may even experience motion sickness just like humans. And let's not forget, most car rides end up at the vet's office, not exactly a cat's favorite place. So, it's safe to say that car rides are not high on the list of things cats love. In light of this, it's worth considering other modes of transportation when possible, or making the car ride as comfortable as you can for your feline companion. Consider other options when possible. And finally, 10th on our list, other cats. It may come as a surprise, but cats are naturally solitary creatures. Unlike dogs who are pack animals, cats are territorial and often prefer their own company. This is a throwback to their wild ancestors, solitary hunters that fiercely guarded their personal space. When another cat invades their territory, it can often lead to fights and a lot of hissing. Even if the cats are from the same household, they may not always get along. It's a delicate balancing act that involves a lot of sniffing, marking territory, and sometimes some swatting and yowling. In essence, while cats can occasionally tolerate or even form bonds with other cats, it's not always a guarantee. Each cat is unique with its own personality and tolerance levels. So consider this before bringing another cat into your home. It's not a decision to be made lightly because a peaceful feline household is a happy one. There you have it the top 10 things that cats hate. We've journeyed through the world of feline dislikes, from change and forced affection to water, closed doors and even other cats. Understanding these can make a world of difference in your relationship with your four-legged friend. 
If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share with your fellow cat lovers. And leave a comment telling us about your own feline friend's dislikes. Until next time, stay curious and keep loving your cats.